and he also stressed the importance uh, the manager of the work rate of Johnny Gorman and Corey Evans down the right and left flanks. Well, it looks like Gareth McCauley's been called over. Time for a bit of breath holding here as Northern Ireland edge their way towards that half-time break. Trying to protect this one goal lead. Pantelic comes in and Pantelic handles the ball. Oh, 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 he's going to get booked. Well, they, they do suffer from a lack of discipline, Jerry. I mentioned those 12 yellow cards. I think that's 14 now in this qualifying campaign. Well, there's frustration as well. I told you he'd had a couple of little dives in the first half, and it's petulance from Pantelic. Beautiful alliteration, Mr. Armstrong. And he needs a haircut. That's a good ball. Very good ball for Ninkovic. Jovanovic now. And here's a chance. And it is the equaliser for Serbia. And it's Pantelic, the Olympiakos striker. And a mind-numbing concession for Northern Ireland, who have done so well. well I think we've gone to sleep here. I think we're a little bit slow to react, certainly. Ball underneath. Couple of legs there, and we are slow to react. He gets it underneath. I think it's Aaron Hughes's legs and just past Lee Camp's left leg. It's his eighth goal, Pantelic. But I think we've just gone sleeping in the last five or six minutes. Allowed them to get on top, and they've got back. Now beginning to look unsettled and rattled as Kolarov plays it in, and it's poor control by the goal scorer, goal kick. Yeah, I have to say. There's a couple of things, Milos Ninkovic got far too much room. He was the one that made run into the box, uh, Mark, unmarked, and drilled the ball across for Pantelic to score the goal. They're very good when they're in possession of the ball. They've got clever players, and once again, we see our friend Pantelic, who goes down and does make a bit of a meal out of it. The Northern Ireland of... Uh won just two of their last 16 away games in the European qualifiers, Slovenia and Liechtenstein. That was the last major tournament Northern Ireland qualified. was, of course, the 86 World Cup. Ivanovic makes his way to the edge of the penalty area. Here is Pantelic. Now Stankovic. And that's onside. Pantelic and Ivanovic in the penalty area. Ivanovic plays it, Tosic, and it's Pat McCourt who makes the important interception there. Doesn't get it far enough away. It's Stankovic who picks the ball up. Pantelic makes the run. Not too far away to the number nine. It was a number nine and did so much damage here in 1991. Darko Panchev, a number nine here tonight, who scored that equaliser for his country. It's a good ball in, and Pantelic should have done better on it for me. Second half, I have to say, they made two substitutions, came out with a lot of fresh enthusiasm and clever play, and they wore us down. Basically, I felt they wore us down, and we never picked up, we never reacted in the second half. We were chasing shadows. They were hungrier. It was a game of two halves, and they won the second half. Unfortunately, they got two goals, and they're a good side, I have to say. Pantelic getting the equaliser, Tosic getting the winner, and you feel now, really, that Northern Ireland must win against Slovenia in Belfast on Tuesday night. Huge